وأتموا الحج والعمرة لله فإن أحصرتم فما استيسر من الهدي ولا تحلقوا رؤوسكم حتى يبلغ الهدي محله فمن كان منكم مريضا أو به أذى من رأسه ففدية من صيام ففدية من صيام أو صدقة أو نسك فإذا أمنتم فمن تمتع بالعمرة إلى الحج فما استيسر من الهدي فمن لم يجد فصيام ثلاثة أيام في الحج وسبعة إذا رجعتم تلك عشرة كاملة ذلك لمن لم يكن أهله حاضر المسجد الحرام واتقوا الله واعلموا أن الله شديد العقاب الحج أشهر معلومات فمن فرض فيهن الحج فلا رفث ولا فسوق ولا جدال في الحج وما تفعلوا من خير يعلمه الله وتزودوا فإن خير الزاد التقوى واتقون يا أولي الألباب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين in the name of Allah the most beneficent the most merciful I testify that there is no true God worthy of worship except Allah and that Muhammad is Allah's true slave and messenger may Allah Salah and Salam be upon the noble prophet and his household and the noble companions and those who follow on their path until the day of resurrection no, may Allah's mercy be upon me and you that it is from the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from the signs of his lordship and his uluhiyya, his divinity and from the perfection of his attributes is that he particularizes some of his creation with certain characteristics and with certain merits. Not only that, but he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, also gives merits and excellences for certain times and certain places, excelling one another in terms of the reward, excelling one another also in terms of their merits as well. And from that, is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had excelled some of the months and some of the days and some of the nights over the same kind in order that this becomes an asset and help for the Muslim to increase his actions and to take more of acts of obedience and not only that but also to renew his commitment to this deen continuously and in this, his reward will be amplified. And he will prepare for the time of death in a good way. And his provisions for that day of return will increase. So these seasons are to be utilized in this direction in order to compensate, not only to renew, but also to compensate for times of negligence and for times of mistakes and errors and also for time of reflection and repentance. So the happy one is the one who takes heed and the happy one is the one who watches for these seasons and their alterations in terms of the good they bring. All of our life is spent is considered as a season for winning and for profit for the one who is obedient. 
and a loss for the one who continues on sin. And thus the Muslim should know well and reflect upon the value of his life, making more of good profit of it until the time of certainty comes. قال الله تعالى in Surah Al-Hijr verse 99 وَعَبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ and worship your Lord until there comes unto you the certainty Many of the Salaf, rahimahumullah, interpreted the certainty to mean death. And this is the saying of Mujahid, and Hassan, Qatada, and Abdul Rahman bin Zayd bin Aslam, and others. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala excelled the days of this month, the 12th month of the Islamic calendar, over other days. In the hadith reported by Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him and his father, from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that he said, ما من أيام العمل الصالح فيهن أحب إلى الله منه في هذه الأيام العشر. There are no days in which righteous deeds are more beloved to Allah than these ten days. قالوا ولا الجهاد في سبيل الله The people ask not even jihad for the sake of Allah قال ولا الجهاد في سبيل الله إلا رجل خرج بنفسه وماله ولم يرجع من ذلك لشيء Not even jihad for the sake of Allah except in the case of a man who went out to fight giving himself and his wealth up for the cause and came back with nothing and this is reported by Al-Bukhari and others. Also Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him and his father, reported from the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam to have said, ما من عمل أزكى عند الله عز وجل ولا أعظم أجرا من خير يعمله في عشر الأضحى There is no deed more precious in the sight of Allah nor greater in reward than a good deed done during the ten days of sacrifice. قيل أولا الجهاد في سبيل الله He was asked not even jihad for the sake of Allah. قال أولا الجهاد في سبيل الله عز وجل إلا رجل خرج بنفسه وماله فلم يرجع من ذلك بشيء. Not even jihad for the sake of Allah except in the case of a man who went out to fight, giving himself and his wealth up for the cause, and came back with nothing. And this is reported by Ad-Darimi, wa isnaduhu hasan, kama qala al-Sheikh al-Albani fil irwa It's reported by Ad-Darimi, and its chain of narration is good, as graded by al-Sheikh al-Albani in his book al irwa These texts and others, from the authentic report clearly indicates the merits of the 10 days of the Hijjah over other days from the year without an exception except for the 10 nights the last 10, night, 10 nights of the month of Ramadan However, the night, the last ten nights of Ramadan, in terms of the night we say, are better because they include Laylatul Qadr, the night of decree, which is better than a thousand months. Imam Ibn Kathir, rahimahullah, through this interpretation, all the texts are reconciled.
and know, may Allah's mercy be upon me and you, that these 10 days are characterized by specific merits. According to the majority of the scholars, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swerved an oath by them in reference to 